Indeed. I don't have ever have a relation. Indeed. I truly really don't care. Indeed. I have not been involved in love with somebody. Correct. I am a bit strange. I think I am in many ways too irrational to fall in love and basically I find the saying of falling in love a bit strange because what I consider to be the most um, reasonable definition of love is something that is that comes not uh, come from compassion and from nothing else when lust comes mostly from ego it feeds on self gratification love is self sacrificing just caring more about others than you care about yourself I don't care about myself also so much. That allowed me to say sometimes things some people find shocking. For example, that I despise my species for so many things our species do. For example, when I'm complaining about things that are happening in the world. For example, claiming that I care about the environment when are supporting two of the most ecological insane industries of the, on the planet, the fishing industry and the land-based animal agriculture. You can check out my video about fishing since 1950 if you want to know more about the fishing industry and their extremely disastrous actions since 1950. I don't go in full small detail in that video, but I think I go close enough. I can get in detail in around 40, 12 to 12 minutes. 12 to 14 minutes. You also can check out my other videos about the insanity of fish in. And of course, check also out my, the, my video number two about why I'm still vegan because I'm, that I talk about actually how the land-based animal agriculture is responsible for uh, most likely for a lot of the ocean dead zones, hypopic zones in the water because of the tons and tons of mineral put into the water any year. The animals that live in the United States alone are producing 140 times the amount of waste as the entire Homo superbia population combined. By the way, that's the word I use on the moment for our collected species. As we are ridiculous as a species. We acting very ridiculous. Claiming this, doing this, acting like politicians and saying you hate politicians. Anybody say they hate politicians. Some people say they hate Democrats. Some people say they hate Republicans. Some, some people say they hate both parties. And some people say they are only like certain Democrats and I hate other Democrats and I hate some Republicans more than others. But they all hate people how act like politicians 
And people, I know you like to hear good things about your bad habits. Something I am not very good in. I am say what I think that is need to say. I don't care so much about your privileged feelings of your privileged lifestyle. I don't care about a pedophile's opinions that ped that children are there to be molested by ch by filthy parasitic. Pedophiles, just like I don't respect the position of a hunter that he have the right to hunt, even if it is legal. Legal means nothing to me, nothing but a story of might make right or power. So, you know, uh, there was a very lot amount of stuff that was legal and are still legal. I like totally messed up how totally nuts how a totally freaking insane for example that's in countries like dubai some uh, shaikh can kidnap and imprison his daughters because they don't like what the daughters say about him I mean uh, about the case of Latifa and her sister, my half sister, who are uh, imprisoned by their father, the king of Dubai. Check out um, that vegan lawyer's video about that. I think that's the greatest video I have seen actually about those. Another example of insane laws where the laws uh, then later become the Jim Crow laws that we before called the Black Code in America, laws that uh, protected slave masters from prostitution for the acts of exploitation, raping, killing and torturing blacks in the United States. There are also laws which protected Nazis from uh, executing under the German law. There are and there were so many despicable laws. So Come out up with a, it is law, it is legal fallacy. It doesn't appeal to social contract fallacy, by the way. This an fallacy. And it is unjustifiable. Just like I am. Did you know that in, that there are still, Places in the United States where it is totally okay to marry one minor. But those minors cannot vote. So you allow them to be married with permission of the parents. But you don't allow those children to vote. This does not make any sense. Yes, there are indeed a whole lot of places in the United States, just like in countries like Saudi Arabia, where it is legal to marry a six year old child to a freaking 50 old year old Air favorites, the one pedophile. The only thing that have to happen is that one of the parents go aboard with it. And in Saudi Arabia, all the rights are by the father. So if the father wants to sell his daughter to a disgusting pervert, he can do it, and his wife can 
actually do little to nothing against it. Because uh, the voice of a woman in the Sharia law is around one fifth, uh, one fourth of a man. Ridiculous world we live in. This upset me just as much as that there are not laws for animals that protect them from unnecessary cruelty. For example, that they are not killed for, or executed, murdered, assassinated. Well, what kind of euphemism you want to use for the intentional violent act of um, taking somebody else's life? Of a billion animals only for taste pleasure. Not one good justification. Very wrong. Because you don't need it to survive. So since you don't need it to survive. It is. I have to say it. Unnecessarily. Intentional acts of cruelty. Specifically. When you are fully aware of the things that are happening in the concentration camps, as we call so euphemistically slaughterhouses. Where animals are cut in thousands of pieces. Where their flesh is cut up and placed in small square boxes. And they'll serve to you, the consumer. How is not vegan? And by that extent, when you are paid as industries to stay in business, are responsible for something that, if our species was the victim of it, was called by law a murder by proxy. <laughs> So ironic. You are basically like, in my opinion, since I don't take a species higher than another, because I'm not a speciesist, on the same length, the same moral high length as a scumbag like Charles Manson, I was also not responsible for murder himself. Now I say also that he, do, that he can do it if it was necessary. We take that a little bit away. But you are basically doing the same thing as what he was guilty of. He was not murder. He did not murder say, his victims himself. He had people who have done it for him. A bit like uh, Donald Trump uh, when he say, oh, um, Mexicans are rapists and then some um, white supremacists go with machetes and kill some Mexicans because Donald Trump say there are all, all Mexicans are rapists. Understand your my point? I try to make. Go vegan. Stop making excuses and place yourself in the position of the victims. Because if you are not a victim, it becomes pretty easy to mock your victim and then say they are not important and they ridicule their total whole existence and um, label them like inanimate objects. Something that all oppressors have done around the century, from Gaddafi, from Saddam Hussein, uh, from people like Adolf Hitler and Ida Hamin, and so many other, other pseudocile dictators to their specific victims. The victim is nothing to the vandal, not more than the next victim. The victims are interchangeable. The root is the same. All forms of discrimination comes by this. It is all based on arbitrary criteria. It is all based on discrimination and violent intimidation, systematic oppression, 
and arguments based on fallacies. Because if we can kill some creature just because there are less intelligence by our standards, then it is not um, a problem to kill mental retards. And if we say that our oh, lions do it, so we have to kill lions. If we want to stop uh, animal abuse, then uh, you can easily kill uh, serial killers. And then all the people are, are playing for people on their roads are the most biggest, the most hilarious, most stupid dipshits on the planet. Sorry that I say it, but surely you want to hold people in life on death roads, how are violent criminals, how are most likely I will give you $100. I should I think I will do it if you can find me any person on death road that was vegan. I don't think you will because surprise, surprise, all homicidal, suicidal, mass murderers were animal abusers before they start to kill members of their own species. They have to learn the practice somewhere of be a cruel, heartless monster. It is a high factor of psychopathy and extreme narcissism to only care about yourself and don't care about the feelings of others. It's a pretty nasty aspect of the dark triangle antisocial personality disorders. So how, why the hell try you to hold these people in life? So thousands and thousands and billions and billions animals have to die to hold those scumbags alive. If you ask me, the next time I see somebody on dead road, I hope there will, if there are rapists, I hope somebody will put them in a room. I hope then somebody take a knife and give them to and as, as, and I cut off the rapists. Then I wish somebody will dip their testicles into shit and say them that they can um, have the life. Where they eat their tickles. And if they refuse to eat their in shit dipped tickles, they get a bullet between their eyes. But if they are crazy enough to do actually that, now I think I will be there personally and shoot with a pistol out of the mouth and blow their brain out and then I will put their dying body in a room with 10,000 flies so he can be eaten and tell his last breath watch the uh, movie law abided citizens and uh, See how the main character of that mo movie blur out some poetic justice on the man who raped and murdered his wife and daughters. It warmed my heart to no end. I have no love for cruel bastards. I have no love for suicidal dictators. I have no love for pedophiles. I have no love for hitmen. I don't have a love for slave masters. I have no love for those people. My compassion is by the victims and by the victims only. I will ridicule, I will expose, and I will humiliate those how claim that they are the victim when there are not. 
we vegans are not the violent one. We are done paying people to blow out the brains of cows. Yes, some of us have maybe some uh, some cruel fantasies about executing cruel people, but that's what there are. There are just fantasies. And next time you uh, watch somebody um, that posts one thing about some dog house abused in a dog fighting arena. Go on to the comment section and read the comment section. There will be a lot of people how saying things like, I wish he get raped in prison. I wish the dog fighter get his throat cut. I will kick him to that. And sentence like this. So I know you understand right or wrong. So why hating people who abuse dogs and cats, but um, admiring people and respecting people who do that same cruel bad, psychotic stuff to um, cute pigs and amazing cows and chickens and other animals our society choose to be commodified fighting. Peace begins on the dinner table, not by talking a nice story. It begins by what you eat. Or actually, if you eat one bean or one bean. <laughs> if you eat one living creature or one inanimate object like a carrot, a potato, a banana. Come on, people. Choose the right thing. Go vegan. By the way, if you want to know more about my why I'm not in a falling in love, I've actually made a video about that. You can check that out here, or maybe I will put one link to that video on the front of my face. Uh, I'll also do it here. So, it's like the on the other side. Compassion to all living beings is a mark of a civilized society. Cockfighting, rodeo, zoos. Racism, sexism are all marks of an uncivilized society. The greatness of a nation can be judged on the decree and uh, the way the animals are treated.